Hello, I'm Xandra and this is a complete beginner tutorial on how to use my character creator for Unreal Engine. My sister and I developed this plugin while working on our video game. We needed not only an in-game player character creator, but a solution for customizing and making hundreds of NPCs to populate our world. We're very excited to share it with you and to show you how to easily bring character creation into your game. Let's get started! We're going to start by downloading the project. From my website and art station, it's pretty straightforward. Just download the latest zip file. But if you've purchased the product on Fav, we had to upload the zip file under the additional files section just due to ethics submission requirements to ensure that um, the product would be compatible with all of the other characters in our store. So um, when you're downloading from Fav, just make sure that you click on the additional files and download the latest zip file here. Once it's downloaded, just unzip the file. Now we're going to make it compatible with our current version of Unreal Engine. First, I'm going to run this installer.bat file and type in the version of Unreal Engine that you want to use. So I'm going to use 5.0, press enter, and then just press enter again to close it. Then right click on the U project file, show more options and go switch Unreal Engine version. Just make sure that that is the version of Unreal that you want to use. Now that that's done, let's double click to run the project. When you first run the project, you'll be looking at the main map. You can find this under Xandra Character Creator Maps and it'll be Level Main Character Creator. It's important to note that there are two different maps here. The main level, the one that we have open, is the one that you use to create and save appearances and then use them in blueprints later. The other map, the in-game character creator, is the map that you would use as a player character creation interface within your game. So I'm gonna run the main level now and we'll talk about the in-game level later. Before you press play, double click on these three dots here and make sure it's a new editor window is selected and then press play. There's a short tutorial on these pages which I'm going to skip through. Let's customize our character. You can choose between a male and female avatar here and below that you can customize the body shapes and sizes. In the next menu, you'll find the face option, so choose your head shape. You can adjust the complexion, which is the skin texture. Increase the age of your character. You've got freckles, and you can change the skin and eye color. When we scroll down, you can further refine your character's face shape. In the next menu, you can adjust the hairstyle and color, uh, as well as the eyebrows. In the next menu, we can change our character's outfit and also adjust the colors using these little squares at the top. In this menu, we can change the makeup. So you've got the um, eye makeup amount. You can change the style and the, um, the colors. Most of the eye makeup styles are split into two different colors for like an eyeliner and um, a shadow. Change the blush amount and the style here. And also the lipstick. And you can make it really glossy or more of a matte style. And we've also got nail polish here as well. 
In the last menu we can finalize and save our character, so we'll choose a name for the appearance. I'm going to call this one Amy and just click save. Once it's saved, you'll be able to load that appearance into the character creator to further adjust it later. And you can also use this appearance as a blueprint in your game. When you're finished with the character, let's pl click play test and just hit yes. And you'll be taken to a simple scene where you, where you can play test your character. To use the saved character appearance as a blueprint, what we're gonna do is go to Xandra Character Creator Blueprints. Then we'll click on Example Characters. This is an example using the default character appearance. So I'm gonna um, duplicate this one. I'll call this Amy, which was the name of my character. And then I'll double click to open it. Um, open the full blueprint editor. You'll notice on the right hand side here, there's a menu that says Xandra Character Creator and a checkbox that says Use Appearance. So we want this to be true. And then we'll choose the appearance that we've created from this list. So I will click on Amy, then Compile and Save. And when you go to the viewport, you should notice that this blueprint now has your character's appearance. Close this menu and now I can drag her into the game. And there are the characters that I just brought in. So that's how to create character appearances for blueprints. Now I'll show you how to use the interface within your game as a player character creator. We've made a specific tutorial for migrating the character creator into your own game project because there's a few steps involved there. Um, so if you're interested in that, uh, we'll put a link. I've put a link in the description below. So let's say I've got a nice character creation scene right here and I want to bring the menu into this scene. Um, so what I'll do is I'll reverse that. So I'm going to bring all of the scene components into the into the in-game character creation map. I'm going to go to the right hand panel, just hold shift to select everything and then I'm going to press Control c to copy. Then we're going to go to the level in-game character creator. Um, I'm going to make a new folder on the right hand side here and I'll call this scene. And then I'm just going to press Control v to copy everything from my map into here. And um, it'll still be selected after you copy it, so just drag them into the scene folder. We're getting a duplicate of some lighting and uh, post-processing effects in here. So, um, I'll just have a look at which ones I want to keep. I'm going to turn off all of the character creator lighting. And on a few ones which I think will be important to highlight the character. Just uh, the rim lights and the key lights. And I'm going to delete everything else. So I'll select the exponential height fog, post-process volume, and the other light, the uh, skylight and reflection capture. Um, if we try running the game now, you can see that the interface is loading, the character is just very bright. So all we really need to do is just adjust the lights a little bit. And if you want to get a quick impression of how everything's going to look when you run the game, just go into Blueprint Example Characters and drag one of these into your scene and then drag and drop it under the um, actor component, so in the render folder, and then just zero out the transforms. So that's where your character is going to spawn when you run the game, and that's how they're going to look. So this is just a temporary character, we'll make sure that we delete this before we actually run the game. If you notice when you bring the character in that it's not uh, aligning with the ground, just grab everything to do with the character controller. So everything except for that scene folder that you created and you can move this around. Now I'll adjust the lights to make this character look a bit better. I think this key light just needs to be reduced. So um, I'll bring down the intensity and um, I'm going to look at the scene lights as well. So we've got a light source here. I think that one's fine. Um, I 
maybe I'll reduce a couple of these other key lights as well. To customize the in-game interface, just open up the widget blueprint called WBP UI in-game. You'll find a couple of text boxes in here. You can change the layout, um, the position, and you can write your in-game's title here. To adjust all of the other UI components like the icons or the text or background colors, uh, just open up WBP UI common and you can change all of that here. For more information on the character creator, I've put links below to the documentation on our website and to the forums where you can post any questions that you might have. Thanks for watching.